a liar. A man might go to war behind somebody calling him a woman beater. Can you imagine if Quine on this day he would be called by the worst of names that he was called by in this in this worldly life? Well, the other billah, we seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the likes of those matters. I mean. And then it says, Ikhwan, Hatta yuntaha bihi ila sama'i dunya, until he will go to the to the, the lower heaven. For yustaftahu lahu, and it will be asked to, to open the, the gate for him. For la yustah lahu, and the gate will not be opened for him. And the gate will not be opened for him. Thumma kara Rasulullah sallallahu wa sallam, la tufatihu lahum abwaab as sama'i, wa la yadukhulun al jannah, hatta yalij al jamal, Allahu Akbar. And then he mentions Ikhwan Barakalafikum. That after this the Prophet Muhammad Sallam recited and it will and the and the gates of heaven will not be open for him, and the gates of paradise will not be open for him until the camel passes through the eye of the needle. Until the camel passes through the eye of the needle, and of course we know this is an impossibility, so therefore Ikhwan it will never be open for him. The gates of heaven will never be open for this individual. Barakallahu feekum. فَيَقُولُ اللَّهُ عَزَّ وَجَلْ أُقْتُبُ كِتَابُهُ فِي السِّجِّينَ And then it will be said, write his book, فِي السِّجِّينَ Meaning in the prisons of the worldly life. In a prison, ikhwan, in the lower earth. In a prison in the sijin, a prison in the lower earth, ya ikhwan. And that is where his affair is to be written and recorded with him. As for the believer, in the highest reaches of paradise. Huh? But as for the disbeliever, the one whose soul was taken with such force, then his affair will be written in the sijin, in a in a in a prison ikhwan or a cell that is in the lower earth. In the lower earth. And he says, Now I'm in the lower earth. خر من السماء فتخطفه الطير أو تهوي به الريح في مكان زعيق الله المستعان and then he mentions إخوان بارك الله فيكم and then he says that after this his soul will be will be dropped it will be dropped from him and then he mentions and then the Prophet ﷺ recited and whoever disbelieves in Allah subhanahu wa taala it is if he had been dropped from the heavens and the and the bird or a bird had snatched him up and taking him away, or his spirit, or like this was blown into a faraway place by a great wind. Allahu Akbar, Ikhwan. So he is dropped in, with such force, Ikhwan, from the from the lower heaven, not even passing the lower heaven, being dropped, Ikhwan, to the lower earth. So then he continues, Ikhwan, فَتُعَادُ رُوحَهُ فِي جَسِدِهِ وَيَأْتِهِ مَلَكَانِ فَيُجْلِسَانِ فَيَقُولَانِ لَهُ مَنْ رَبُّكْ So then they, the, the soul will be brought back to his body. And then the two angels will come and they will sit. And their names are Munkar and Nakir. Munkar and Nakir. Nah. And the the angels will sit uh, in front of him and they will say, Who is your Lord? فَيَقُولُ هَا هَا Now the meaning of this this, this statement, هَا هَا إِخْوَانِ The Sheikh explains it. He says, هَذِهِ كَلِمَا تُقَالُ فِي إِبْعَادِ وَفِي حِكَايَةِ الضَّحَكِ this is what someone says to when they find something far-fetched, unbelievable. Huh? You know, you say, huh? Like that. Kind of, huh? Or it's something that someone would say when they're laughing. Like, huh? But that's not what is intended here. That is not what is intended here. And he goes on to say what is intended here, Juan. He says, وَقَدْ تُقَالَ لِلْتَوَجُّعْ فَتَكُونُ الْهَا الْأَوَّلْ مُبَدِّلَ مِنَ الْهَمْزَةِ الْآهِ وهو أليق بمعنى هذا الحديث يقال تأوها وتهوأها آها وهاها. And the meaning of it, إخوان, sometimes when someone is in great pain, uh, like this, when you're in great pain, and that is what is intended in this narration. It is not that which is said when someone is laughing. It is not what someone says when they find something far-fetched. What is intended here is what one says in groaning and moaning out of pain. In groaning and moaning, out of pain. And then he says, Ikhwan, well, ma'ana annu yatawajja li adami ma'rifat al jawab. And what is meaning, Ikhwan, is he is in such pain because he doesn't know the answer. It's like, ah, ah, can't answer it. He's in, you know how you just can't answer, you want to know the answer, you just can't answer it. And he just can't answer it, Ikhwan, but Allah He is at pains with himself because he cannot 
answer the question. He doesn't know the answer. Barakallahu So that is what is intended to come by ha, ha, in this particular narration. And then the Shaykh said, Na'udhu billah min dhalika. We seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from this. And then he says, Wa lima hasala lahu min al-irtibak wa al-khawfi wa su'ul a'iba. And he says, and also Iqwan, what is found in his, of his affair of fear, as Allah does not make this one firm. Allah makes the believer firm, but this one is left to his own accord, Iqwan. No firmness. And therefore, Iqwan, but Fikum, he says these things out of fear and out of pain and all of these are matters. Ha, ha, as he has no answer. La adri. But you nadi munadim min as And then and, and the, after he's asked the other two questions, and he continues to say, ha, ha. And then it will say, that a voice will call out from the heavens and kathaba that this one disbelieved and lied to give him a place of abode from the hellfire and open for him a gate from the hellfire so that he can feel from its heat and from its stench and his grave will constrict upon him until his ribs will crush, or they will intertwine with one another, and he will be crushed. And then a man will come with an ugly face, a despicable face, a disformed face, with very tattered and, 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 and ugly clothing, and he will be stinking. Glad tidings with that which will happen to you from evil in this day of yours, that you were promised. فَيَقُولُ مَنْ أَنْتَ And it will be saying, Who are you who has brought such evil? فَيَقُولُ أَنَا عَمْلُكَ الْخَبِيثِ I am your evil deeds. I am your evil actions and your evil deeds. And then it will be said, يَا إِخْوَانِ فَيَقُلْ رَبِّ لَا تُقِيمَ السَّاعَةِ O oh Allah, do not establish the hour. O oh Allah, do not establish the hour. And the Shaykh says, يَتَمَنَّ عَدْمُ قِيَامَ السَّاعَةِ This individual will hope that the hour will never be established. Because he knows he is going to the hellfire. We seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the punishment of the fire. And we ask Allah for paradise to abide therein with those who are righteous and the believers. Ameen. And one last point, Ikhwan, from this narration, another wording, and I wanted to mention this as people commonly ask me about this. And this is in the wording in Bukhari and also in Imam Ahmed's Musnad bin Hadithi Anas from the Hadith of Anas. That he will hear the footsteps of those who have buried him walking away. He will hear the footsteps of those who are walking away. And then it mentions Ikhwan. That the questions will begin as soon as the person, the dirt has been thrown on the person, and the people walk away from the grave. At that point, the person will be asked those three questions in the grave. And that is the explanation of the long hadith of Al Bara ibn Azib with regards to the descriptions of the souls that are taken after the death and what happens to them in the beginning of their affair in the grave. And we'll end here if there's any issues or questions, let's deal with them now, inshallah ta'ala.